Hey y'all, Matt here from RetroOnly.com. Today I'm going to be ans answering another common question that many people have about the Nintendo Switch that's here in front of me. And that question that I'll be answering today is, can you play movies on the Nintendo Switch from the SD card? A lot of people get the Nintendo Switch, they hear that it has an SD card, and so their first thought is, cool, I can download my movies from my computer or from my tablet onto the SD card and then throw them on the Switch, watch them while I'm on a road trip or even at night, maybe when I don't want to be playing it on the TV and I want to do it somewhere a little bit quieter, and they think that that's a possibility. But can you do that? That's the answer, or the question that I'm going to be answering in this video today. Before we get to that, please be sure to like this video and then also subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out a lot as a channel. It also helps a lot of people out around YouTube and even around the internet who have these questions that they don't aren't able to find the answer to. So with your like and your subscribe, you help them out and help them find the answer to their questions as well. So let's hop right into it. So can you play movies on the Nintendo Switch using the SD card? If you're brand new to the Switch, you might not even know where the SD card is. It is right behind the kickstand on the Nintendo Switch console. And right in there is where the SD card will go, and it is a micro SD. As you can see, I've got my micro SD, and the one that I have is a 256 gigabyte micro SD that I use on my Switch. And I do that because most of the games that I play are actually downloaded. And so I'll download them, put them right there on the SD card, and then it will sit right inside of my Switch. So it just pops right in and right out, just like a micro SD on anything else. Okay, as you can see, it pops up there with a warning when you take the SD card out. So the SD card, on mine, you can put anything on it. See, if I have the adapter that takes the micro SD to the regular SD, I could plug it into my computer and I could put literally anything on it. But anything that I put on the micro SD that I don't put on through the Nintendo Switch console or through in the proper format for the Nintendo Switch will not work. Meaning, I cannot play movies on my Nintendo Switch using the micro SD card. Now, there is a back doorway that you can watch movies on the Nintendo Switch that is not using the SD card, but instead is using the YouTube app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in here into the TV right behind me, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can watch movies on the YouTube app on the Nintendo Switch. And that's either by going on YouTube and just watching whatever movies that you can find on there. You can often find either segments of movies and all back to back to back, or you can find sometimes older movies also there on YouTube. But there's another way where you can watch movies that you've previously purchased on other devices, on other streaming services, and you can watch them on the YouTube app. But there's no way on the SD card. So let's go ahead and hop into my TV here, and I'll show you exactly how you can watch those movies through the YouTube app on your Switch, and only those, not any movie that you want to that's on the SD card. So let's hop into the TV. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download movies anywhere. And the reason why you're going to want to download Movies Anywhere is because this is how you connect Movies Anywhere to YouTube so you can watch movies on your TV. But again, these are only movies that you have on your Movies Anywhere account. So if you go to My Movies, you can see the movies that you currently have, your saved movies that you have from all the different devices. Then if you go up here, you can connect different retailers onto your Movies Anywhere account. So you can connect Apple TV, Prime Video, Vudu, Microsoft Movies and TV, Xfinity, Fandango, Verizon, or DirecTV. And then you can also connect YouTube, which I've already connected. It's right down here on the bottom. The reason why you connect YouTube is then once you log into the YouTube account or onto YouTube app on the Switch using your same Google Play slash YouTube account, you can then look at all of these movies that you've purchased on all of these different devices or all these different services, and then you can all watch them all on the Switch. Again, unfortunately, you cannot watch anything and everything on the Switch. You can only watch items that you have already purchased and then connected through one of these provided retailers. So that is how you do that. Let's go ahead and hop into the Switch now, and I will show you exactly what you need to do on the Switch, so that way you can get to your movies that you already have paid for. Once you have Movies Everywhere downloaded on your device, or you've gone to it and connected it to all of the retailers and to YouTube on your computer, the next thing you're gonna to need to do is download the YouTube app. Now, as you can see here, I already have the YouTube app downloaded on my Nintendo Switch. So all I'm gonna do is go into that, and then you're going to scroll down here on the left, and you're going to go to your library. Then you're gonna go over here to purchases. And as you can see here, it says videos you purchased or rent will appear here. Once you've connected all of your purchased items through the Movies Everywhere app 
or through their website. Once you've connected all those, anything that you've ever purchased on any of those managed retailers, such as Amazon Prime, such as Vudu, any of those things will show here and you can watch them right on your Nintendo Switch. Now, unfortunately, you can't watch movies directly from your SD card. So if you have a movie on your computer and it's not purchased through one of those connected retailers on Movies Everywhere, then there's not a whole lot you can do to watch them besides simply going up to your search and looking for something specific. So let's go to the keyboard and let's just try Frosty the Snowman. I'm gonna go and look at, and as you can see, you will find some of those types of movies here on the YouTube app. So you can watch Frosty the Snowman from 1969. Since it's on YouTube, you can watch that on your Nintendo Switch, but you can also watch um, Frosty Returns. Again, it's the one from 1992, it's a full movie. Again, you can watch the full thing. So there are plenty of things that you can watch movies on your Nintendo Switch. But you can only watch them either through the movies app or through the through your library on YouTube or by simply searching for it and hope that someone else has uploaded it to the internet and to YouTube using those, those methods. So unfortunately, you cannot watch movies using your SD card on your Nintendo Switch. But since they have YouTube accessibility, you can do it that way. You can also use Hulu. Hulu is another recent app that's been added to Nintendo. So you can also use that by simply going to the Nintendo eShop and then downloading Hulu on there as well and then watching whatever movies or TV shows are on Hulu. So let's go ahead and let me show you that now. So to download Hulu, all you have to do is the same thing for YouTube. Simply go up to your search and browse and you can either browse for Hulu specifically just by typing it in or you can also just search by price. It's a free one. So it's right there at the top. You just scroll over to Hulu, press A, search for it and as you can see it's a free download and we're going to go ahead and download that now close that out and then i'll be right back with you once hulu is downloaded all right so i went ahead and logged into hulu here and then i went over to movies so you can obviously have tv shows you can have whatever's on your hulu and you got all these different movies that you can search from that you can watch on hulu now obviously hulu you do have to pay for which is not ideal. Um, you can get some free movies on YouTube, any movies that you already have purchased, you can get that way. Hulu, however, is a monthly cost, depending on exactly if you have the ad-free one or what exactly you have on it, You can, it will cost some. There is a way where you can save money. They do sometimes run deals around Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So if it's around that time of the year when you're watching this video, you can save some money if they run that sale again this year or in the following years after you watch this movie. But even if you pay full price, it's only $4.99, $5.99, $6.99. The price varies, again, if depending on what ad model you get, etc. But it's not super expensive. So depending on exactly what you're looking for mm -hmm. and depending on um, how, how you're willing to do it, I guess, if you're willing to spend that type of money or if you just want things that are free, so then at that point you'd only want to look through YouTube. So you can do Hulu to watch all, all types of different movies as well, and Hulu does have a pretty decent variety. They are constantly adding new ones. So since that app is on the um, Nintendo Switch, then you can watch movies on the Nintendo Switch using the Hulu app as well and watch them through Hulu and through your Hulu account. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you in answering your questions. Unfortunately, you can't just download movies onto your SD card, throw it in your Switch and play. That would be really nice, but it's not currently a feature that the Switch offers. But you can watch either the ones that are uploaded to YouTube, watch the ones that you've purchased that you sync in with YouTube using that app, or you can also then, of course, download the Hulu app and watch movies that way as well. So again, my name is Matt. I'm from RetroOnly.com. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment on this video or comment on any of our other videos. We'd be happy to help you out. Please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.